Make sure there's no more notes. Can you guys see where I'm looking? You have no clue where I'm looking, do you? No clue. Mail time. No clue where I'm looking. Mirrored glasses. You ready? Checks out. Where am I looking? No you don't clue. know? No clue. Does it matter? <laughs> where am I looking? <laughs> Mail time. No clue. Can you see my ear? Did, Cauliflower. Did you, Mail time. Did you sunglasses. Imagine someone new to the channel watching this for the first time. Oh, they're going to. Uh huh. <laughs> Get off my hand! How many Wolf Tick Nation, thank you guys for tuning in to once again another Wolf Tick Videos episode. Now guys, if you're not part of the Wolf Tick Nation, please hit that subscribe button. Do yourself a favor. We're going to be doing the initial impressions on a brand new bike that you guys have most likely not ever uh, never seen before. I don't know how many of, out there, of, how many of you out there have ever seen it. But I'm going to tell you, there's one feature about this bike that I've never seen before in any bike, and it is grande. Guys, there is multiple features on this bike, and you will not believe when we get to specking out. We're going to tell you all about the price, but um, our patrons, Kevin, yeah, it's that big. Kevin and Brande, old big sister Brandy, they hooked us up with this bike. We went out camping. You Dude. guys all seen uh, the latest videos where we got some group riding in, and uh, freaking Brandy comes up, surprises the crap out of us. And um, comes with a bearing gifts. You know, this was the bearing gifts bike. So we're gonna be looking at this bike, and we're gonna be doing a little bit of everybody's favorite segment. We're gonna be doing a little bit of mail time. Yes, guys. So uh, buckle up. Let's get ready to shoot this. Let's spec let's, this bike let's out. Let's show this bike. Yeah. All right. Are you guys ready to see this bike? Let's do the ready. initial impressions. Do you see the big old dork disc? <laughs> dude, that, Look at the dork disc. Dude, that's the biggest dork disc I've ever seen. Here she is, guys. This is the. M111 29 inch mountain bike. Oh, that's what M111? This mountain bike here uh, was bought at Ski and Sun. Our Sun and Ski. I guess that's like uh, a bike shop. Sun and Ski. Adventure store or something like it's, that. I, think, I right? don't think it's a bike shop. I think they just started carrying bikes. I think. Okay. I don't know. I'm not too sure on the story, but um, apparently it's a $550 bike. Now, before you guys start trying to change the channel and go, well, you know, I don't have one of those near me. Wait till you hear the specs on this bike when we start talking about it. I mean, 550 for this bike, spec the way it is. What size is it? Small. It's a SMO. SMO yes. on a 29er. I've been wanting you to try a small 29er. You wouldn't do it. It took big brother and sister, Brandy and Kevin, to get you into a small 29er. I know. I'm so glad they did. I'm you know, so glad they we've did. We've got the uh, Axum DP and that bike there. Um, it's too big for Everybody me. says it's too big for me. I like the way it feels. This one here, it's guys, we're going to be doing a standover height, and I yeah. think this one's just going to be just right. Right off the bat, I like the looks of the bike. Yeah. Now, I don't know about the tires. There's a couple of downsides, of course. Yeah. But, you know, the tires, but there's a few things. We gotta be, we gotta be, we got you know, we gotta pick it apart. And they appreciate that we do that. Mm -hmm. So So five hundred and fifty dollars. Yep. Let's do the magnet test. Remember, we're gonna be weighing this bike, and since it's an air fork, Wolf Dad or a wolf man over there is going to be doing a dyno. Well, I do them on even non air fork sometimes, but yeah. yeah. Wolf man dyno. I got my trusty magnet. Okay, is it trusty? Aluminum wheels. Okay. Now the frame does say 6061 aluminum alloy. Okay. okay. The seat post tube is aluminum. The crank arms are aluminum. Chain ring steel. Oh, ripped my magnet off. Damn. The bars, aluminum. Mm -hmm. The stems, aluminum. Okay. Okay, the stanchions are stem. most likely aluminum. And the forks are either aluminum or magnesium. Okay. I'm thinking under 30 pounds, maybe. Uh, I don't know if it would be under 30, but it feels pretty light. Yeah, it feels very I'd light. I'd have to pick it up again, but I'm going more 31. All right, guys. So let's talk about the group set. Now, the group set is a 1x11, as we stated. It's an S-Ride group set. And really, in my opinion, it kind of looks like a mixture between Shimano, Micro Shift, and Advent. It kind of has all of that tangled in. You guys tell me what you think in the uh, comments below, okay? Advent is Micro Shift. The uh, shifter up front, the S-Ride, is a thumb shifter only, but it does have a display window, 1 through 11, you guys can see on there. 
Now the rear derailleur doesn't have anything special about it. There's no chain stabilizer, there's no clutch, but it does have a removable derailleur hanger. I know that's a big hang up for some of you guys whenever it doesn't have that, but this one does. So if you happen to bend it or break it, most likely you can get yourself a new one, okay? Now the cassette back here, that's right. It's a cassette, it is not a free will. The cassette is an 11 to 50 tooth. And we are gonna be doing a shift test, so make sure you guys don't fast forward through that, okay? Now the crank arms are 170 millimeters long. It does have a hollow bottom bracket with a pro wheel branded uh, crank arms and bottom bracket. And we've seen that Pro Wheel brand and some of the uh, big box store bikes. So that's something interesting, right? And the chain ring is a 32 tooth and it's a round one, but Wolfman knows on our magnet test it is steel, it's not aluminum, okay? And that's all tied together with a KMC chain. Let's talk about these hydraulic brakes. Now they are unbranded, but in my opinion, again, Kevin and Brandy also thought the same thing. They look very similar to the MT200s that you can get for Shim from Shimano for right around $100. And the only thing that looks a little bit different from the MT200s is where the bleed valve is located on both of the calipers. Now those are tied together with a front and a rear 160 millimeter rotor. Apologize about the smoke in here. Oh yeah, sorry. Jeez. That's Jeremy's fault. He hooked me up. Cigar. Cigar smoke, guys. Calm down, Poe. It's just a cigar. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the wheel set before we talk about the cockpit area. Now, the wheel set is aluminum, okay? 29, of course. And it is Presta drilled. And I'm not sure about the brand on there, but I do know that it is a double-walled aluminum wheel. Tires. The tires, we've actually had some of these before, and they came on a bike that came from Academy, but they're the CST Jackrabbits, okay? Have you guys ever heard of those? Jackrabbit Slims. The Jackrabbit Slims. They are 29 by 2.25 inches wide and the tread is going to be you guys all know my little tire test area on the cat's meow it's going to be sketchy an elvis man should love them uh-huh yeah so i'm very <laughs> sketched out when it comes to the tire tread uh, now let's talk about the handlebars the handlebars are right about 750 millimeters long and that's with the grips on there the grips don't seem the greatest in the world they are thin and we all know it i'm a thin grip man so the grips do feel good they just they look like they're going to roll in your hands. You're going to whiskey crawl them things. Whoa, you know what I'm saying? Whiskey throttle. They look a little funky, but I ain't hating on them yet because I haven't rode with them yet. That's right. Now, the stem is right about, it's got, I would say, about a 10 degree rise on it, and it's right about 90 millimeters long. It's a four bolt stem. Now, this is something that's interesting. Me and Kevin were talking about at the campsite. It's got a 31.8 millimeter seat post, right? But if you guys notice the shifters and uh, below the crank set, I'll give you guys some little camera action there. Everything's internally routed, right? Even the brakes are internally routed, so everything is nice and clean. I could have sworn that I seen a hole down there by the crank set or the bottom bracket um, that would allow us to run an internal dropper, but I think I'm wrong, and the reason is there's no holes on the seat post tube, but underneath the crank set, there is three internally routed spots. And up on the bottom tube, there's two spots on the left side. Well, I think this bike was intended for at least this frame. Maybe there's a different version out there we don't know. I think it was intended to have maybe a two by or a three by up front instead of just the one by because um, there's mounts back here. There's little spots for a hose or for a line to come up and clamp to your seat post tube. So I think the internal routing wasn't intended for a dropper as much as it was for a, um, a front derailleur. That's a good point. Maybe. But the internal routing and everything on this bike, it looks excellent. Let's talk about the elephant room. Let's talk about this fork up here, guys. Now it does the have the a elephant lockout. room is at Dork Disc. Yeah, yeah, the damn Dork Disc. I'm gonna send that thing to Brandy so she can look <laughs> fetch with her dogs. I love that thing, man. Uh, now the fork up front, it's an 11 fork. There's no brand name on it, but it's got some stuff I like about it. There's a couple of negatives. One of them is it has that remote up there, okay? And we're gonna be doing the Wolfman Dino How's test. That a negative? Because I can't stand remotes. I cannot stand the damn things. I want my cockpit to be clean. The only lever I want on the left side is a brake lever and a dropper lever. I bet you're gonna love that remote when you're doing a time trial. That remote looks just like a Suntour remote. That's our Suntour we just installed. That thing looks just like it, guys. Um, so uh, will it react like the Suntour? I don't know. Um, now, the fork does not have a rebound. Isn't that crazy? It doesn't have a rebound whatsoever. No rebound. Uh uh. Now we're going to so check I the. I hope it's set where you like it. Yeah, me too. We're going to check the pressure and see what this thing was shipped with. But something that the fork has that's kind of cool is it has a compression ring and it has a little sag chart on the right side of the stanchion. Isn't that cool? Now it also does have an air chart guide on there. We'll be showing you guys that as well. But before we go any further, Let's talk about the reverse backwards arch. Now this thing's trying to be a damn Manitou or a Minutia. This here with the reverse arch, I am not a fan, but maybe some of you guys are out there 
Um, it just looks funky to me, you know what I'm saying? This does have a tapered head tube, and something I'm curious on when we get to doing upgrades on this bike, we're gonna find out, does this fork actually, is it a tapered fork? Um, is the steer tube actually tapered or is it not? What do you think? Kind of looks like, I mean, you know, some more- I'm truly tapered. You think so? I think this would be the first one. Uh, now, let's check this air pressure real quick in this fork. Oh, it's okay. aluminum cap. Yeah. Okay. So now everybody was wondering, it's a hundred and millimeter, it's a hundred millimeters of travel. Is it, well, we haven't measured the stanchion though. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh no. You guys remember the ZTZ fork? Uh, I do. The ZTZ fork, the threads were jacked on it, and that's what it feels like on this thing. I don't want to. So the threads on this fork are jacked. Okay. Uh, I don't know okay. if they're. Okay. I don't know if they're like overlapping or whatever. But that was real time screwing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they're like cross thread or something. We had the exact same problem on our ZTZ fork, if you guys remember. Yeah. So we're not gonna be able to check the air. <laughs> Let's measure these stanchions Thank over you. here. Okay, they are. They are. 34 millimeters. Okay, they look pretty beefy. They're 34, they're 34 millimeters. <laughs> okay. God, I wish we could check the pressure of them. And the exposed stanchion is 121 millimeters. Hmm. Man, I wonder if this is a sun tour. All right, let's go ahead and get the weight of this thing. Let's do the Wolf Dad Dino. I'm gonna go with 29 pounds. Okay. Our first under 30 pounder. It is 30.56 pounds and 13.86 kilograms. All right. Man. All right. This much. This much. All right, guys. Shift test. We are in 11th gear. It looks like you're okay. We're in 11th. All right, I'm doing one clickers this time around. That's uh, Dude, it's, 10, 9. it's shifting so far. Oh, oh, there's one. It's a little. Oh, got it though. Okay. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Holy crap! Okay, here we go for first. Oh, damn! Pretty smooth. Not bad. Okay, now we're gonna. Wow. Now we're, okay, ready? That's you doing that. Yeah, it's me doing that. Pretty soon now I'm gonna give him a rich it now. Ready? And wow, one, go. two, three, four, five. Really? Yeah. Okay. Wow. That's two full pulls. That's the third. And there it is. Wow, I hit them brakes. Mm -hmm. Wow, pretty successful shift test. Yeah, it's amazing it's, that 11 speed shifts that good. It shifts pretty smooth. I'm gonna say right now, up on a stand, it smiths, shifts very smooth. Yeah, thumb shifter only, and the jockey wheels back here, they're both 11 tooth. So, uh, wow. I mean, guys, this thing out of the box, right? Or I guess built and, and shipped to us from, uh, or rode to us from Brandy in heaven. <laughs> I'm thinking that this thing is gonna be hell of a contender for the time trial. Yeah, it, it it might end up being with that remote walk. I think it's really gonna be handy. Yeah. All right. Um, Wolfman Dino. Wolfman yeah. Dino. Lockout is off. Lockout no is settings. Off. No, no rebounds. Rebound. Okay. We don't even know the pressure. We don't know the pressure. Let's do it. Oh, okay. Oh, dude, you're like close to bottoming. Let's see. Remember, 120 millimeters. I don't know. We measure that. Damn. We measure that. I'm telling you, it's more than 100. That shows 110. Yeah, We're already at 110. See, and I'm not, I haven't bottomed yet. I don't know if I want to push too much harder to bottom because that's. I kinda, bottomed a couple times. Too. I think the pressure's not too far off. For really? Me. Okay. Yeah. Well, damn. Okay. Ready for the lockout? Yeah. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> so like that and like that and then. Oh. You're gonna hurt yourself. Oh, God. <laughs> hernia. As far as stock forks go, it's a big upgrade over what's most yeah. that we've dealt with because right now you can buy like a ztz for 120 dollars and it doesn't have a rebound you know so yeah yeah um so, at 34 millimeter stanchions who the thought yeah I, that's I, crazy I, I, I know they were beefy looking and they there's yeah. well, one thing i will say it's very smooth very smooth yeah it's smooth i think it could use a little i think it's gonna be a little bit i think you're gonna want a little bit more uh rebound adjust because it's a little fast in the yeah. rebound but I think it'll be it'll be good. It'll be good for it's gonna be for, a huge improvement over stock big box bikes. Yeah. All right, man. Well, cool. Um, well, that was it. I yeah. guess on the initial impressions, guys. Let's do a little bit of mail time. Yeah. And that got... has been a Wolfman Dino. All right. Oh yeah, I gotta do a standover. Uh -huh. That's what I was trying to tell you. Standover. Standover. All right, that's not bad, people. Standover's not terrible. I mean, it's, it's you know, it's a little yeah, pretty it's snug. Not terrible. But really, if I had to, I could plant my feet and uh, hurt Dang. myself mildly. My, my, mild hurt? Standover's not bad. Mouse!
here. Beep, 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 beep. We've got some mail. Oh, there's oh. more. Well, who do we invent the wheel yet? Everybody's favorite segment. A little bit of mail time. What's the first package here? Uh, right there. All right, let's do this. It stood out. This here is from our boy, old patron. Raxman got him in the butt just All right. Dropped. Raxman, Raxman Ra 80. Raxman. All right, Raxman, what'd you get us? What, what is it? Okay, what do we wait. got? We know it's STEM. It says STEM. Would you like to pull out? Well, <laughs> now a little late, isn't it? <laughs> Come on. Oh, I like the color. Look at this. That is a sweet Dude, looking I, stem. It's so different. That color is so Wow, cool. that is such a cool looking stem. Now, guys, if you remember the Ledge X1 build, um, old uh, Raxman sent us those Pearl Hansen stems, the blue and the black one. And now this one looks very similar to those. So it's got the oil slick. Um, yeah, the oil slick bolts there. Yeah. Yes, very different color. Man, I Raxman, thank you so much for the stem, dude. This will definitely be getting some use. All right. This here's from Raxman God. Might as well just just, I didn't even look. I didn't even look. Raxman! Feels very flat, okay? I have no clue what yeah, this hey, is. It, uh, what in the world is this? What, what is that? Whoa, what the heck? Don't handle it in case you're not supposed to handle it. What, the, what is it? What the heck is it? Look at this. What in the world? Okay. We'll have to figure this out. <laughs> Um, I'm at a loss of words here. Guys, what is this? I have no clue. You know who's going to know what this is? Who? Raxman, first of all. And secondly, John Day. <laughs> I knew you were going to say John Day. Yeah. <laughs> John Day, <laughs> Chuck U, what is this? Chuck what in the world you, is John that? Day. They'll know. No, somebody. What, what, what have we got here? All right, this here is from old Brandy. Oh, Brandy. Dude, big, Baron Gifts. Big sister Brandy. A bike. Big sister Brandy, a bike. I mean, now, you ready for this? I, I, don't, I know. don't know if you're ready for this. Oh, dude. It's a dropper with a lever. Dude. A Trans X. The one you, you're wanting to try that. I was, I have been wanting, I don't know who it was, if it was Dave Gravit. Somebody has been mentioning this, a few of the guys in the Wolf Dick Nation. It's a 27.2 by 100 millimeters. And the thing is, is sometimes you have a really hard time of ordering the ones that have the remote on there. Right, have it you because yeah. you have to always order. Well, not separately. only that, but if you're on a bike that has a remote lockout, that could unclutter oh, yeah, you. Yeah, unclutter bit. it. Just reach up underneath your seat and bam, Brandy. Thank I'm, you so uh, much. What, what size is it? Twenty-seven point two. Okay. Yeah, Brandy, you are onto something, girl. Yeah, buddy. Twenty-seven point two. <laughs> this here was sent to me from me. Oh, is this, this is something here? I oh, ordered. Okay. This here is a. 30 tooth chain ring. Now, I don't know if it was a decus or what it was, but this is our 30 tooth chain ring. Always can use a little bit of chain ring action. And guys, for most of this stuff in the mail time, we will make sure we put some affiliate links. Is that the all that we're trying to use on uh, yeah. on Project Gummy World? Okay. We got some uh, Armando Cardenas going on. Hey, it, it's Armando Cardenas. Homeboy's from Miami. 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 Yeah. So, uh, Armando, you go fishing, man? Let's see what we got here. Bam! What is it? Bone cage holder. That's red. Hey, we got some notage from. Oh, yeah, there's another package in there. Hang uh, on. Hey, Armando, by the way, you got some really cool handwriting. Um, it says, Hi, I'm Armando from Miami, Florida. Devoted fan of your channel and admirer of your dad. He is a big fan of the Wolfman. Uh, Who well, isn't? I knew I liked him. Here are two bottle cages, one for the ledge and the other for the Ardor. Okay. Okay. A little bit of uh, Ron Burgundy action. Please let me know um, how I can send pictures of my 2012 Iron Horse Warrior 3, 26 inch. Blessings. Armando. I was about to say, I don't know if you've been watching the channel, but we always need these. They're brake rotor adapters. Well, you put oh, on your calipers, always. so you can run either a 203 or a 180. We'll have to figure out which one these are for. But Armando, thank you so much for watching and understanding. You know what I mean? A lot of the Wolf Dick Nation, man, you guys hit it on the head whenever you guys send us stuff. Thank you so much, man. What is that? Bam. What is this? That a quick little That's got some weight to it. This it is does. from uh, Berserker. Nick, one of our biggest supporters. Man, you know who else had a real quick one? Think about you said Berserker, but reminded me, we still have to watch that uh, finished. We started. I started watching that video, Captain's Cog. He's got a whole. He's doing a whole project. He's got he? A, he did a whole mail thing himself. Oh crap! Yeah, we got. We got to check it out. One yeah. of our patrons. We got support. We we got we, we had to stop it because we started filming. But remember, we'll watch we'll it. We'll it watch out. it after Captain. Berserker, Nick, guys, it feels like a stem. It feels like a stem, and it's not a stem. So I believe this here is not a stem, and no, 
for all you uh, Miami people out there, this is not a cigar cutter. This here, you put a steer tube through there, and I guess whenever you get ready to cut it, you can keep it nice and straight. You guys see yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I believe you stick so you stick this in a vise, mm -hmm. and then you put then you put your a tube pipe in there, whatever it is, and then you can yeah, actually get the you, saw, and then you tighten it, and you can saw. That's freaking smart, yeah. Berserker. You're on top of things, man. Thank you so much, Berserker. Love tools, man. Tools are great. Yeah, we'll be going by Harbor Freight pretty soon. Cause yeah, we might need to pick up a little saw, Berserker, but that's such a good idea. Next piece of mail. What do we got? Bam! Bam! What is this? I don't know. Who's Who is this from? from? It says Wolf Dick Videos. Okay. Maybe there would be some notage in here. All right. All right. All right. Now, our boy, another patron. Man, we got some patron mail, some Wolf Dick Nation mail. This is from old Chuck U. You need Chuck to stock you. up on these. You need to stock up on these. Chuck U's good at stocking up on stuff. Brax, man. He's got Chuck us a groups that we're needing to use, old Chuck U. Now, Wolf Tick Nation, pause the video. What do we need to stock up on? Everything. All right, are you guys unpaused? Okay. Nope. Chuck U, we need to stock up on these. Open her up. Let's see what we got. What is this? Oh, oh dude, it's a crank set. Oh. Oh, hell yeah, we need to yeah, stock up always. on these. Is it, have we ever said, you know what, we have too many crank sets. Dude. We have too many crank sets. Never, never been spoken. 170 millimeter crank arms, check that out. Very cool. Chuck U, baby. Yeah, right, we need to stock up on these, Chuck U. And what tooth is that chain? 32. All right, dude. It's a 32 oval. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. Man, Chuck U, you're my guy. You know what's up. You know how you like them ovals. You know how oh, like yeah, them ovals, oval. Chuck U. Yes. Damn, very cool, man. And it's red. Pretty, it pretty. Chuck U, thank Ro you for taking care of us, dude. It's Rojo. All right. Now, do you know who this is from? You guys know who this is from? This right here is from our pals over at Outdoor Masters. Oh, really? Yeah. Outdoor Masters. Now, guys, I will say this. If you've been watching some of our videos here lately, which I know you guys have, and you've seen those little rounded helmets, I've got a gray one, a white one, a black one. Now, I love my full face whenever I'm around a black diamond, but those things, those little rounded ones. The, the you, Outdoor Masters. The helmets. Outdoor Masters, you can't beat those, okay? Yeah, no, if you, I'd say 90% of the time you're wearing those now. Yeah, I'm a big fan of them. They're very comfortable. Anyway, so Outdoor Masters says, hey, we've got another product coming out for the summertime. We'd be interested if uh, you guys would like to receive uh, receive one and, and maybe uh, wear them. Outdoor mat. These things right here are just um, basically a brand new item of theirs and it's a nice little hard case carrying case for them. Oh, hard case carrying case. Let's see what we got it's in here. Redundant. Very important to uh, keep your eyes safe because all of the gnats. The gnats? Yes, there's a lot of them. All right, so we got a little clear lens action. Yeah. All right. Oh, Ooh, cool. Oh, they're mirrored. Dude. Check those out. Woo! Buddy, look how mirrored those are. Who's that remind you of? Hang on, hang on. Ask uh, me again. Who's that remind you of? Let's ride! Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah what do you think? Yeah. They that, look okay? They, they look like they're going to protect your eye area. Oh man, I look pretty cool with these things. And on. give you a little style while doing it. Yes, I mean, it's very blocked. Outdoor Master, there's even a little tagline on there. Very cool. Appreciate you guys hooking up uh, Wolf Tick videos again and keeping my eyes safe, much like my head with those helmets. Now, what in the world can this be? What in the world? Just carefully start cutting. Yeah, I'm gonna be, I mean, is this a painting? Does she paint us something? Oh, I don't. Is she a painter? She's a painter. Brandy's a painter? She's huge into painting. No. Yeah. Brandy? She was so excited. She went to, she, when she came to visit, her and, well. Ch her and Chuck. Whoa. Whoa! Hey, Kevin, I'm sorry. Hey, Kevin! Hey! Hey! Her and Kevin came to visit. She goes, Oh my God, did you guys open my gift? Did you open my gift? Did you open my gift? And uh, thought this would spruce up the joint. Brandy. Uh, what the heck? Pull that side open. Dude! You're gonna. Don't. Don't. Oh, wow! Dude! No, it doesn't light up. Oh, whoa. What the heck? No, it doesn't no, light it up. No, it doesn't. Can you guys see that? Dude. Dude, that is awesome. And Man. it's got a bunch of different colors for it. Oh. oh my God, Brandy. Brandy, thank you so much. I can't wait to hang this thing up somewhere in here. I don't know, we'll just, it, oh, we gotta take it camping. Well, it, it needs to be in here so people can see it. That is cool. Last piece of mail. Yes. Now guys, this piece of mail right here was sent to us by our boy, old Kevin H., one of our patrons. Just got done doing some writing with him and He's the one that just sent us the SR Suntour Radon 29 or yes. 34 millimeter. What, huh? 
Oh, don't tell me this is... Is this going to be a through axle it's wheel? Thick. It's a 15 uh, by 110, so well, it's a there boost. there you go. Heck yeah, dude. Uh, I know a certain fork that it fit. I know what fork exactly this is going to fit. All right, guys. Well, uh, Wolf Dick Nation, we appreciate you guys watching uh, Wolf Dick videos as always. Outdoor Masters, thank you guys so much for the sunglasses. I will definitely be using them at least once to see how they go. Keep some gnats out of my eyes. You guys can check the affiliate links below. Check out some of these yeah, uh, goods that we got. These things. Yeah. That's what you forgot to think. It's Outdoor Masters. I just did. And uh, Brandy Kevin, the bike is going to be That's awesome. H.